information on the title in this video are probably all said incorrectly, and the link will be provided in the description. We apologize for the inconvenience. Hello everybody, I'm Kirbrina, and in this video I'm going to show you 10 useful websites for digital artists. The first one is called Colourpod and it's a site where you can find a lot of, dif of different palettes. You can find a palette with a monochromatic color, with the complementary color and etc. All the palettes have a title and different tags. So if you like one uh, and you want to search, to search for a similar one, you can simply click, click on the tag that you think is the one that you're interested for and then find other, other palette. Another thing that you can do is searching different color options uh, by using uh, a keyword. For example, if I write the cute, I can find all the different palettes that have the cute word in the title or in the tags. The second site is called Color Supply and it's actually a site where you can set different color combinations. Thanks to a color wheel, you have the possibility to saw uh, different color combination with different saturation of the color. It gives you the possibility to saw some example and some gradient of the color. Also, very nice thing that this site has is if an artist have used this color combination, you have the link in their social media so you can see their hard work. The next site is called Canva Color Palette Generator and it's a very simple site. From a picture you can have the palette of it. So if there is this photo or this artwork that you really like for the color, well you have the possibility to have not only the palette of it but also to know the name of those colors. So I hope this one they can be helpful for you just, you know, uh, to know something new about a color that you didn't even know the existence about. I have to say the truth, I choose this site only for this title. Just look at it. But anyway, even if it have a very silly uh, name, why would you pair it's a uh, site where from a picture you can upscaling it without destroying the quality and here you can see an example i took a picture and with a simple transform option i make it bigger and the quality is not really good at all so i did the same thing but inside the site i upload the picture and i tell to the site to uh, upscaling it and here, after I told him that I am not a robot, I can convert it or then download the picture. I decided to click on convert it and then I say I copy and paste uh, the picture in my heart to program and here you can see the difference. So it actually makes the picture bigger without destroying the quality. The line art are a bit weird, but the result is still quite impressive. So if you actually uh, have a sketch or a drawing and you think that it's just uh, too little and you want to make it bigger, or you have found a texture that you really like and you want to use it but it's too tiny, well, with this site, you have the possibility to uh, upscale it without destroying the quality. The next site is called Halpakadoga, and it's a site from a picture you can convert them in an, an animated GIF. So it's very simple. You choose the picture, you upload them, and then you tell to the, to the site the frame per second, if you want to have the same resolution, if you want a, a smaller resolution and you have actually the possibility to keep or not the logo of Fire Alpaca. So you can have the uh, sequence without uh, any uh, element that are not yours. So uh, after you have chosen, you click on OK and then you have the possibility to download your GIF.
The next site is not only for artists, but it can be useful for everybody. It's called a converter and it's just a converter from a file. You can convert it on another similar, but uh, to another similar uh, type of file. So for example, if you have a picture, you go to the section image and then from a, from a picture that is, uh, I don't know, in JPEG, you want to uh, converting in PNG, then in this site you can do it. You have also the possibility to create an icon and also to do little uh, transformation uh, for uh, the picture for your file. It, it's very useful, so if one time you want to do a conversion of a file, here probably you can find what are you looking for. If you ever wanted to uh, modify a picture, a photo, without downloading a, a software, here we have a Pixel. Pixel is actually a web-based photo image editor. It's like uh, uh, Photoshop or GIMP. You have the most important uh, function of this program and also uh, the possibility to add effect in the, the picture, m m transform it, uh, uh, adding element, and uh, etc. So if you want to manipulate an image but you don't want to allow the software or you can't, you can use the Pixar. Use, uh, you have uh, also Pixar Express when you can actually make uh, uh, have a much more simple interface and give you the possibility to add uh, simple effect. Then a very similar site it's uh, Sumo Paint. But Sumo Paint you don't only have the possibility to Im manipulate a picture, but you have uh, also the possibility to draw. And uh, if you ever wanted to, to draw uh, without using a, a software, because maybe you don't have the possibility to download one, well, you can use a Sumo Paint. It has level, different brush, and also effect. The next site is called Concept Heart Word, and as the name says, in this site you can find a lot of concept art. They are divided in uh, posts, we can say, where you can add, when you can find uh, artwork, for example, about mermaid or concept art from famous video games. For example, I found a post with the concept art of God of Wars and The Legend of Zelda. It's a place where you can find a lot of different art and it's actually very good for finding inspiration and in the moment that maybe you don't know how to write something, maybe, I don't know, you want to draw something shy but you really don't have the knowledge, maybe in this site you can find what you are looking for and getting inspired by a lot of wonderful artwork made by other very talented artists. The next site that I'm going to talk about is the only site when you need an account to use it with the drive. Because uh, Pinterest, it's a site where you can find so many posts and especially tutorial and reference for artists. There are literally so many things, a lot of step-by-step -step tutorial and a lot of artwork from the different artists you can save a post from other people and you have the possibility to find so many different things. For example, if I wrote a hand tutorial, I will saw a lot of different hand tutorials, so if I like one, I can just go and save it. And then I could have the poss possibility to organize all the pins that I made in a different uh, section, and I have the possibility to return into the section and uh, rewatch them again when I will need them. Another social media, but this time you don't need an account, it's DeviantArt. Inside DeviantArt, you can find a lot of posts, a lot of artwork, a lot of tutorial and 
a lot of reference. It's really incredible how many things you can find by simply searching a keyword. If again I search on tutorial, here I will find a different tutorial from a different artist and then I have the possibility to learn something new that it's always something good. Another site that can be useful uh, not only for artists but for everybody it's Send Anywhere. It's a simple site where you upload a picture that you want to send and thanks a key or the QR code you can uh, you can send it to anyone and anywhere. And I have also the possibility to send the file uh, by email. Maybe if I want to send a file that it's too big for the mail service. Last but not least is Alternative Tool. It is a site when you can find alternative for your program. If you want, for example, Photoshop, here I can find the alternative to Photoshop. For example, I have GIMP, Krita, and other uh, software, and I can click on them and then I can find other alter alternative for this program. It So everybody, this was my list. I hope uh, some of these sites were new to you and some of these sites will be helpful for you one day. If you, have, if you know any other website that could be useful for artists, write a comment down below. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like. And if you want to support me, subscribe to the channel. I try to upload two videos per week. So. With that, see you everybody in the next video. Ciao ciao! Here a little tip. If you don't know what to draw and you need inspiration, if you write a heart prompt on Google, you will find so many different sites that could give you some idea. Maybe also really weird idea.